That one kind of sounds like it's really scratchy. Ooh, it's hard ground here too. I'm really woody down there. Mm. Let me turn my volume down on my detector because my pinpointer is really struggling with it today. It's gonna be deep, man. It's gonna be way deep. And of course. like this. This takes a long time for that stuff to get in there. This is probably something old. Oh man, it's gonna be a relic. It's deep, deep. It's down there, man. Oh man, these roots are just not me and my friend right now, actually. Okay, can I pop it out here? No, because it's deep. Did I get it out? Dude, this thing is this thing is eluding me, man. It's gonna be right there. I think I popped it out. Whatever it is. I could have swore I popped it out, man. I don't want to destroy it, whatever it is. I just want to be really careful with it. I don't feel anything down there. I'm right on top of that. It's right there, I feel it. It's coming out, right there. Must be an Indian or a weedy. It's gotta be a weedy, man. Yeah, it's a weedy. I'm not in very good shape either. I got a 1924 weedy. Beautiful shape this morning. 1941 weedy, what? Dude. Yeah, 1941. It's green, it's waxy. Okay, let me pinpoint that. Make sure it didn't have any friends with it. Because it was... It was I kind of had a feeling that was weedy. But it was way off the side, man. It was probably on its edge. Because it didn't pinpoint very good. Volume up. Oops, I didn't quite get it there. Okay. Yeah, that's what it was. Let me go sensitivity all the way up here and not get not go into beach mode i don't want to be hunting in beach mode let's dig this nail up here is it that right there no i'm just curious man i gotta dig this iron up i'm waiting for a gold ring or something or an earring or something it's gonna be iron is it in there no, it should be right here. It's right there. It's something iron. And it might be something big too. Yeah. It's a battery. Big old D-cell battery. Okay. foil. I'm, I'm starting to learn what foil sounds like, so so let's, let's check me right here. Or it could be a roofing nail. Foil and roofing nails sound very similar, man. Right here. Check myself. I've been checking myself quite a bit the last couple days. It's not going to be foil because it's too deep. This ground is just super hard right here. I 
right on top. Ripping a nail. Ripping nail. Come on, baby. You need to be right about it. Or it could be some watered up foil deeper. Usually watered up foil doesn't go that deep, though. Yeah, it's watered up foil. See? Watered up foil. You know, once you start using the simplex for a few hundred hours, you'll get to know what that foil sounds like. It'll give you those high tones, but it'll give you those low tones at a different angle. Like that's foil. There's a lot of foil in this curb strip right here, so. There's ivy too, man. The ivy is, that's what the roots are. That ivy is hideous. There's a penny. I can tell just by, I can just tell just by the sound of it that it's gonna be a zinky. Right on the surface here. Oh, it's way off the side, what? Right there, right on the surface, right there. It's not a zinky. It's a wad up piece of lead. I'm gonna open it up here and see what I got going on here. It's a big lead strap. See that? Getting lead out of the ground. See that? A little bit of lead out of the ground. It wasn't a zinc penny, but that's why I always dig them up, man. But it could be a penny in there with it. It most likely not. No. Some iron. Iron in there with it. Because this, this curb strip is just full of iron nails everywhere. But I did just get, get that weedy, so. I'll dig that foil up right there. Just to show you guys, man. Could be a roofing nail though. Most likely it's foil. Just because I've dug up a lot of foil here in the last few minutes. But it hasn't been this deep though in this curb strip. This right here, there's a lot of deep foil. Ooh, this one might be really tough to get out because of roots, man. I'm having a really bad feeling about this because I'm digging in their flower bed right here. I don't want to destroy their flowers, man. So, you know, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna abandon that hole there. I'm not gonna be tearing up their flower bed here because I don't want to trample over their flowers you know it's just having to work around the, their flowers there so I'm gonna head up here so I'm gonna hit this spot right here I'm gonna go over here smack a silver over here No. Oh, that's nice and soft. Ah, good break. Good break off of the that crappy soil across the street there. That's what I like about curb strips, man. You can just go across the street and you can get something different, man. This is Ink Penny. So I haven't really pounded this strip um, with my Nokia detectors. Um, And all these are fresh drops. <coughs> Sounds like a dime right here. We're on the surface. Right there. I'll just pop it. How about that? I'll just pop it right out. It's right in there. Yeah, it's right there. It's a dime. Where's a penny? I was wrong. It's probably a 76 penny. It was 76, 1976. <laughs> Dude, I was right. 1976 penny. <laughs> 1976 and 1979 pennies read up higher for some reason on the simplex. They sound really good. And so does 1982 pennies. 1982 pennies sound really good, man. Hmm, that one's reading kind of crunchy. Like a crunchy zangy right on the surface here. Just right there. Crunchy, look at that, wasted man. Just toast. That's going in the garbage right now. Yep, I was right, see? Once you start running your detector for a little while, you get to learn what the tones are and just the nuances 
you know, sure, I'm in three-tone mode right now, but it, you get those multiple tones in with that target. And it's just, with any detector, you have that. You just learn your detector. You know, I've, I've swung this detector around for several hundred hours. I don't know how many hours I have on the simplex now. Several hundred. But um, you just learn that those tones that it that it generates with certain coins. Where is this thing at? It's kind of an iffy anyway. It might be a coin on this edge. Sink penny deep. Deep, deep, deep. If it's down there, it's gonna be a relic. Uh, it might be a relic, I don't know. It could be a sink penny. The roots, man. That's good. If it's under the roots, that's a really good thing, man. Dude, is it a weedy? Oh, it is a weedy, man. Why was it reading up like that, man? It was on its edge. It's a beautiful weedy, man. Let me see the... Let's get the date off of it here. And it's kind of crunchy a little bit, though. Right on the date. Ew. I don't know about this one. 1937. Wow. Okay. Let's start it with Weedy and end it with Weedy. Thank you for watching.